Are we live? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Just going to take a minute to figure out how to do this. Nobody knows I'm here. Sneak attack. Nice to see you. So, fun fact, I'm doing all kinds of things and changing all kinds of things. And part of that included getting a bigger office. So, hi. Hello. There they are. Everybody popped all in at once. What's up? Hello. I'll figure out a way to download this and get over on YouTube eventually. There they are. So I'll just tell everybody now. I got a wild hair up my ass and made some changes. Long story short, I took apart my office and it's in a pile upstairs. I don't know where any of my shit is. That's what I've been doing for two days. I know. I miss you guys too. I'm like, I'm not ready, but I miss the tribe. So we're sitting in my living room, hanging out, and there's dogs here, and we're going to try it anyways. Good morning. So I don't actually know where my cards are. This is a big box full of cards, but I didn't put them in. I just like started moving shit. Oh, that's a good deck. Okay, we'll use that one. This is not a Daily Moons. This is not anything. It's just I wanted to say hello, so let's play with some tarot. Yeah. Yeah. So those of you who are watching this as a repeat, sorry you missed the fun. It's time for all the shenanigans right now. It's shenanigan hour. That's what we're doing. And it's not going to be an hour either. Here's the double deck. Am I doing this fairyless? I feel weird doing it fairyless. There's the Vikings. Um. Hmm. I'm like, how many decks do I need, really? Oh, 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 oh. Blam. Oracles. We can't do much without them. All right. That's a good enough. That's a good enough. Whatever. This is the box for my Nug Mug, except they call it the Roast and Toast, which I know, right? <laughs> no plan. Lots of shenanigans. That's exactly what we do here. <laughs> All right. Okay. And we got Murphy on board and Willow. <clears throat> Never mind. I didn't like that introduction. They took off. All right, hopefully that'll stay. So this is going to be for just energy until the next reading. I would like to say I'll be doing readings later on tonight in my office or tomorrow, but you never know. So we'll just say that spirit knows and it'll be until the next reading, okay? Guys and angels from our tribe. I'm like all crouched over. If you guys missed the yoga, it was so good this morning. I'm really trying to stress the importance of the mind, body, spirit alignment as opposed to like turning into hot yogis to do all of these things. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's going to happen. That's just a positive side effect. But it's not like it's, we're, it's about learning all the things so that you can do the ascending. All right. Willow. I don't know if the puppy's going to let me concentrate. Hopefully. All right, here we go. This is the Woodland Fairies. There she is. Oh. So, also, I live in a house full of dragons, and they're just everywhere all the time. It doesn't bother me, but hopefully you like it, too. King of Wands. Some of you might have a mask on. Like um, the old 19er mask. You know what I'm talking about? This King of Wands is got jeans on. Like they have jeans on. That's a fact. You have bows and arrows. No puppy. No. No. <laughs> What's a bow and arrow? What is a metaphorical bow and arrow when you're talking about 
um, a real life person. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's straight up could be somebody that you know that has, that is like an archer or does the things. And, but when you're talking about metaphorical bow and arrow, okay. So there's a lot of distractions, right? Like I sat here for a half an hour and everything was totally calm and totally fine. And then as soon as I got out this king of rods, all of a sudden everything is everywhere. It's just not, it's a puppy, but you know what I'm saying? Did you notice how my energy went like this and that as soon as I got that card out? Anyway, what I was talking about, a metaphorical bow and arrow is somebody who has the ability to take aim and potentially hit their target. And what happens when you hit a target? If it's not alive, you win. Like, good job, you hit the target. If it is alive, you take ownership of that animal in whichever facet because you disable them. This person could also resonate with deer, like actual stags. Like, for example, if you know someone that has like a stag tattoo or... They just, but it's also about patience, it's about nobility, it's about the fact that the only thing that you can see is their eyes would allude to whoever this person is. It's like full body armor or like a full on mask. I mean, the only thing that you can see on this particular king is his hands and his eyes. They might just be really cold, or they might be... Might be keeping themselves covered up, but they are... The world... I heard, and then there was an end, and then there was a beginning. This is my clan of little black dragons. Alpha Omega. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. When you talk about the archer and the meta metaphorical being able to shoot something and to disable it, and then you own it, that's Alpha Omega. They're the decider. They're the decider. That's what they do. I think that's what I'm getting at. Because they're and that could be, if you're talking about a relationship, that could be it's in their the ball's in their court. You've already shoot your shot <laughs> and you missed and they didn't, or something like that. If it's about a job, it could be like you put your application out, you went on a interview with this here King of Rods, and all you can do is wait because they're the decider. They're the Alpha, the Omega. They're the one. It's like this one here. She's totally suspended in the air. Oh. All the things just happened. Totally suspended. That may, might even be just like that. Like you're doing something. You're making progress. You're trying to like, you know live your life and then all of a sudden like a text comes that's what just happened to me a text came in and I thought it was I didn't know who it was and I like took the time to stop what I was doing to scroll down just in case and it does feel like that that they're the decider page of cups look at this she's even like wait a minute like every it's for whatever reason it's important The look on her face is like, wait a minute, I want to, I want to know, I want to, I want to know what love is, I want you to show me, right? Yeah. They, she wants to hear from this king of rods. She, I'm only saying she because it's she in the card. Right. 
with the Two of Pentacles, this is uh, the decision that you've been waiting for. This is the communication that you've been waiting for. You were sitting and hoping and something, whatever for me, right? It's like they I can't really get past the fact that they're the decider. They're the ones that were, the ball's totally in their court and that's like a shit ass position to be in. It really is, but long story short, here we are. That is the position that it, that it's, and you've just been, is it waiting? King of Swords. This person could have really blue eyes and like a button nose. They could have like a, well, it feels like a one pack that's defined. Okay. I don't really know what this is, but they're hot got jawline for days. Ah, this one in particular, I can't get enough. But he's all... He, but look at his face. His lips aren't moving. If your lips are moving, then you're line, line, line. Yeah. And that's she... But that's a good thing. Since his lips aren't moving, that would indicate that he's not lying. Yo, is Mercury in retrograde? Is it? Because I don't know what's up with the technology and the communication and all this shit that I'm kind of getting irritated with it a little bit. Just a little bit. Your lips are moving and your line, 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 yeah. But they're the decider. And you're the nine of coin. She's all... What is it about this one here that is able to make you be like, well, maybe I will. I've been waiting for them to talk to me. I, I kind of want to hear what they have to say. Justice. <gasps> Three of cups, ten of cups, ten of coins, ace of coins. Come on. So for those of you who aren't tarot fluent, that's a hard yes. The tens are the big, the big ends. So ten of coins is stability, money, tangibility. Ten of cups is the best emotions. It's total fulfillment. It's joy. It's like the unit. It's all glee <laughs> and the clapping and the happy, right? And then Ace of Pentacles is the brand new start and the Three of Cups is the celebration. So you, so, and Six of Cups, and look at how the Six of Cups came out, came. So you know this person clearly. But that's only because the Six of Cups came... I can't talk anymore. So all of a sudden I'm like, blah, blah, blah. You might get stupid when this person comes around. Because they make you nervous. Because they're the decider. You don't know where... I'm going to find out why the ball is in their court, but it is. They might be a game player. That might be like they constantly have balls <laughs> in their court. Whatever this is, but it is. Checkmate. And it's the chariot and the hierophant. It's like this, whatever this is. I mean, it feels like a hard yes. Like if we're talking about all oh, the all, oh, and then I cut the deck and the four of wands comes out, which is essentially marriage, but it's like, or a solid foundation. But it's like, I'm asking, well, we're sitting around waiting and the, they're the decider. What happened? And then they're like, well, wait, I want to hear what they have to say. They finally decided to say the things. And what they say is a hard yes.
and you're like, tower. Wow. Show me the tower. <clears throat> There's a big dragon right there. Big one. The bear. Yeah, big, big, big dragon. Big bad daddy. Communication. The magician. This is the boss, the chief, the CEO, the judge, the protector. They're probably really strong. That's why I was like, they have a one pack because their whole body is a solid muscle. <laughs> I snorted. But they're really strong men, okay? And they're like, when are we going to hang out? And you're like, well, what's up, decider? Did you have a good time with your deciding? It's really annoying, by the way. Oh, why Why are they the decider? What the fuck? Ravens don't do that. I said, with this one, you did. The clock. Oh, my Atlanta. Okay, so I'm like, the clock, that doesn't make any sense. My question was, um, why the fuck are they the decider? And I looked down and I saw the word test. It's a test. And you passed the test. Okay. You did that. Good job. The fool. And then they return like old freaking faithful. Ah, oh, jeez. Here we go again. Temperance. Okay. Um, I may have seen... Where did I see this? I can't see it with clear voice. I can hear. I can hear a sound bite. Is Asher Queen? She said you're getting this because your temperance. That's like a paraphrase. They were testing your ass to see what you would. I don't know do <laughs> because they can because they're the decider and you let them in your face how you like them fucking apples and you're like I don't ah! I need to not get so excited about things what's up Tony I miss you nice to see you <sighs> they're the decider that's some first class bullshit if you ask me. But not really because that's what I'm saying. They're old faithful. It says it feels like the vibe of a person who has had their, like this, remember how I was saying that this particular King of Rods has had their, they're all covered up in, um, what, what, what did I channel? Full body, full metal body. What is it? Full body armor? <laughs> because they've had their heart smashed upon to and fro, back and forth. They've done that. And so, and then they were peeking out. So the only things they were they had available was their hands. They were totally fine with being handsy and they were totally fine with being looksy, but their mind and their heart and everything else is covered up. And somehow, one of our ravens here infiltrated, got up in their head, you got in there and you just festered around like the festering McFesterson that you are. And you probably fought with them a little bit. And they're like, nobody fucking fights with me. I'm the decider. And she's like, yeah. Come at me. Like, I, I just did that. I'm talking about nobody. I just did. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the deck. You have the star, the lovers, the ace of swords. And the six of rods. That's my point. I went off on a tangent. It's like, okay, so this person, this masculine, king of rods, is all covered up. They were just going to look and play. And you got into their head. And so then they were like, well, I'm going to test the theory. 
This is testing temperance. How uh, far can I push temperance before temperance boils <laughs> or totally freezes over? Look at her sitting there with her little fucking temperance cups being all temperance McTemperson. I want to I want to poke it. <laughs> I want to see what happens. And they did. And fun fact, you win because you're temperance. Like, it feels like this little shit. <laughs> the decider, okay, did something dumb. Or didn't. Or said they did. Or just dangled you like a... You love me so much, what are you going to do about it? And she's all empress about it. I, it's like they, you, they're like, well, shit. That went way better than I thought it was going to go. It's like I absolutely just fed this bitch to the wolves and she came out and had the wolf pack tamed. I, uh... I think I love her. Man, you don't love me. Because I know I love her. Because <laughs> you don't love me. See, you don't love me. I know I love her. Oh, and that look, random card from random different deck, the chariot. Yeah, they do. You win. Uh, didn't we ring the bell for that a couple of days ago? Right? Okay, so let's talk about this um, chariot engagement thing that they want to do. You <laughs> played the fool. But, how, but how, many, how many different ways can we look at played the fool? You were the fool or you played them and they're the fool. Like, fucking checkmate. And good job. The King of Swords. Oh my god, it's the same cards. The King of Swords, the Lover's Star. That's exactly right. So, um, we have Aquarius, Gemini, Heavy Aquarius here. But they want to... I mean, this is clearly a choice, but tell me about what the engagement is. It's a, it's a reunion. Maybe after work or before work or like at a place where they work or somebody could be engraving something, like literally engraving something. Somebody could have on a black jacket and just be really, really cold, just really cold. Um, sitting down, like eating food, <laughs> you know, eating food like people do at some table, and that's when this fish comes in. And what's a fish? Okay, could be a Pisces, but it's also about the justice. Could be a Libra. It could just be an air sign. Like it doesn't have to be, but these are the qualities of these people. Uh, this feels like a conversation, clearly, if you're sitting down doing the eating. <laughs> but it feels like I'm hearing, like, sound bites. First of all, somebody's like, let me ease your worried mind. I'm sorry I didn't, like, whatever. Somebody could have on, like, a boggin. Somebody could have on, like, like, pigtails with them tied up really low. Six of Cups again. Oh, this is that. The deck I just had. 
But it feels like a conversation about... It's an idea for sure. There could be like a yellow house that's like tall, but it's not. It might need like a new roof. I just heard generational wealth. It feels like there's some kind of investment or something that we're talking about while you're doing the eatings of the foods. That is like a really good idea. And you're like, I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money and blah, 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 blah. And then it turns into some kind of like fickle. I don't know who the fuck you're eating the food with, but they're being a little bitch. <laughs> it's true. It's in the cards. I just saw it. I don't know what their problem is. You're like, put more food in your mouth and say less words. <laughs> but then you get this rando text. Like, while that's going on, this is someone else. And their heart is hurting. Could be literally. They might want to, somebody might want to apologize to you for something. Like. And it's the, this is my point. This is where it comes in. This is the fucking decider, that guy. Whatever this is, the one that has you, like, the one that's got you fucked up, basically. The Emperor, always. Whenever they roll in, whoever else this other one was that you were talking to, you just stop talking to them. You were like, <laughs> two more talk less, right? But anyway, as soon as that text comes in, as soon as it's like yoink, it almost feels like a like a cartoon, like you get pulled out of this reality and pushed into that one. Because this fella who's been testing temperance all week, um they they I don't understand what they want. And to be honest with you, like, we're joking and laughing and being all tee hee hee, ha ha ha, that's funny, we figured it out. It's not funny. Don't test temperance. Temperance is karma's sister. <laughs> okay? Like, she will fuck you right up. Temperance isn't always about making things calm and peaceful, it's about making things balanced. And if you're gonna continue to push the button, like, if you're gonna poke the bear, all right, like, ha, 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 look at the nice, soft, fuzzy bear. The bear's going to turn around and scratch you in the eyes. At some point, you're being given the option to strengthen. Six of Cups. Strengthen what? The chariot. It's a, something that's already established. The bouquet. Unexpected. Light bulb. That's my point. It's like out of fucking nowhere. We got J, K, B, C, T, and D. Out of fucking nowhere, they're like, all right, I don't want to, 
don't want to tease you anymore. Like, I, good job. It's a Libra. But they're, they're, what's the epiphany? The Hierophant. And the new beginning. There, it feels like, it feels like wild satisfaction. <clears throat> like that, whatever this was that they did. They, it's almost like they put you through some kind of test to see how you would behave in similar situations or under pressure or if they pissed you off really bad or if they just wanted to see what you would do. And they were like, huh, Wheel of Fortune and the Diamond Ring. That's what I'm saying. They're like, you let's, let's meet up swans I bet they will plus they miss your ass uh what happens on the meetup the ladybug your wishes are coming through it's abundant um it feels like really athletic whatever it is but also don't let this be the owl. Don't let this person fill your head full of shit. Because if they're the decider and they put you through that little game ski to protect their own heart, you can bet your ass they're going to do it again. And so restrain yourself from... Restrain yourself from something because the, the text, the communication, whatever it was, I don't even know if these are the same people. Be, you know what I'm talking about? That's how tarot works. I'm just reading energies and they're showing up as different cards and I'm trying to keep it all together as if it's you and this one person, but this is a whole time frame. It's like 36 hours worth of energy. So this could be a number of different people that show up, but it's like, there's something that's going on and you could have this really awesome opportunity, but spirits like you better restrain yourself because that thing that you wanted really bad is about to show up. You're, it's complicated, but you're about to get every fucking thing that you want. And what does that mean in daily tarot? Okay. I wanted Long John Silvers. Well, I wanted KFC. Okay, you get what you want, bitch. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> the lovers. They, this person has fallen in love with you and they're returning. The bear. The big fella. But they're like, Ur. they just, it's like they're not just returning. It just feels like they're coming in and handling that feels like it's theirs to handle and then they do that's what that feels like all right any last anything for anyone what are we doing here Two of coins. That's what I'm saying. You're going to be, you might even, might even be two, two, two. And justice, you're, everything's coming into balance. Like you're going to have to leave something in order to have something else. The lovers and four of wands, but it's like being offered to you and they're like, are you coming or not? And you're like, these cups. I just feel like this other person that you were with or that you have to cut off or that you have to choose between, they're taking too long. Like decades even, of uh, you trying to get them to not be five of pentacles, which is like leaving you lonely, trying to teach you lessons, all this and that. And this other thing rolls in like right on time. And you're going to take it. Uh, 
and it might make you feel like shit. But that's your choice. All four twos are out. Two, 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 two. Huge change. All right. Now for real. Can we get one card, please, for how we're going to be leaving? Coming into the next evening. The higher font. Bam. Chose. I said chose. You done chose. All right. I love you guys so much. That's all I have for today. I got a million things to do. And uh, when I get my new office set up, we will get back to our regular scheduled programming. Okay. I love you guys so much. Till next time. Bye.